Hello, my name is Matt Jacobs, and this is the first physics lab of the semester. The introduction for this lab, so the purpose for this lab is to observe the motion of an object that is traveling at a constant velocity without changing direction. By recording the motion of this in class and using tractor, Tracker, we can create an observatory model of the cart's motion. By using the vPython code that we were given, we were able to create a computation model, computational model of this motion to see what the motion should have looked like. Some important physics principles that we used in this lab were Newton's first law of motion that states an object that's moving in a straight line will remain to do so unless a force is acted upon it, Newton's second law of motion, which is force equal to mass times acceleration, kinematic equations such as change of position is equal to velocity times time, and the system and surroundings where the system in this experiment is the cart and the ramp and the surroundings is the earth. So observed position can be seen with this tracker website that I have pulled up right here that shows you that where the position of the cart is due to the time, as you can see in the graph in the top right corner right here. The predicted position, we saw that the total time of the entire, <clears throat> the total time of the entire experiment was 5.5 seconds. The length of the track was equal to two meters. Because of this, we can find the constant velocity, which is found as length of the track divided by the time or 0 0.3636 meters per second. To back up the predicted position, this is found on the coding. On the left is our natural code, of which is edited to produce the graphs on the right, which show the position versus time and the velocity versus time, which is constant because there's no forces acting upon the cart. In our results, we have our observed position and our calculated position on one graph, showing you that the graphs look very similar as there is not much difference in the position. As for this last dot right here, they're both the same because it's 5.5 seconds in 200 centimeters or two meters. So therefore there's just one dot because it's on top of the other one. In conclusion, what if, if the, it's answer the what if question, everything would be inverted if you swapped the positive and negative x's. Because this would make the position versus time graph have a negative slope, therefore making the velocity negative because you'd be looking at the data in a reverse way. What does it mean the answer of the, to the what does it mean question is that yes, it is possible to count all of the forces acting up on the cart. In this experiment, we try to negate all forces, yet there are still some small forces like friction and drag that are acting on the cart. Thank you.